It's always well worth taking the ferry across from the European side to the Asian side of the Bosphorus, as we have done. Welcome to the Kadikoy district in Istanbul, the home of Fenerbahce. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we've got what we hope will be exciting league action coming up for you. It's Fenerbahce, and they take on Umranyaspor. Intelligent threaded pass here. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? He read the situation defensively and did his job. Umud Nair. He continues his run. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. of room in the wide area can he convert oh good work to deny the opportunity so the corner played into the box Really good high press. Useful looking ball. It just needs to remain icy cool. And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so sharp today. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe Scott here. And the penalty has been given here. And a chance for 2 0. In it goes! A well taken penalty! And the ball is moving again. 2 0 is how it stands. Ener Valencia. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Well, not a cross that will live long in the memory. Goal kick. Well, as you can see, Fenerbahce have found it difficult to control the tempo of the game here. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. More defending for them to do here, though. And a fine tackle. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. And attempting the through ball. Well, decent save there. And over comes the corner. Well, the corner too close to the goalkeeper that time. Running with the ball confidently. Can they stop it going in? Just cleared away in the nick of time. So that will do it for the first. So back underway here into the second half. Committed challenge. Oh, 
Well, PSG have been busy in the transfer market. The contract situation has been signed and sealed, and he could be available. Oh, Derek, what a moment this could be. And effectively parried away by the keeper. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. Deflected behind, corner forthcoming. And played short. Putting his body on the line. And he read it well, intercepting it. Getting forward. But they dealt with the threat first. And the pass could do damage. Oh, he saved it well. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Now, how about the short corner? And space for him to cut in. And still dangerous. Just the challenge that was required. Yilmaz. Valentin Gheorghe. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Could be a chance to break here. And let's give credit to the defending. So almost at full time and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp. The movement's been bright and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. So making the substitution now. Oh, breezing past him. Surely! And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick! Excellence in finishing there for all to see! This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. We will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Can they get in behind them? He got in the way of that cross. And both the referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. You're absolutely right. The man to watch. Following a hat-trick, does he have another big performance in it? Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match.
I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And what we've got on the menu is potentially absorbing league action. Stuart, your expectations? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Clinton G are showing good defensive judgment. Can they create something from here? A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Samu Saiz. Intercepting it intelligently. A room to roam on the wing. Can he play it in? Well, over the top it goes. He didn't miss by an awful lot. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, he's a player full of confidence at the moment. What a hat-trick. And there it is! 1-0! The efforts have been rewarded! And look at the celebrations! Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Hakan Arslan. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. But a second foul after the first one, and so no advantage there, free kick. Got a pass that lacks quality. Can he take advantage? Couldn't quite hang on. Bruma, opportunity here, and they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. That's a good-looking ball. Unable to keep the ball that time. And attempting the through ball. Is it going to be? Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Bruma. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Now can they counter clinically? Well, let's see if something comes of this. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Samu Saiz. Pretty simple for the keeper. Well, as you can see from those stats, their attacking play just hasn't been good enough. They need to start getting the ball into the final third more often and play at a quicker tempo. Otherwise, they just won't get back into this game. Well, they have the ball now. Let's see what they can come up with. Oh, managing to beat him. A really top-notch piece of defending. Well, this has been widely reported on social media and in the newspapers. And now official confirmation has been received. Lucas Hernandez has completed his move to Milan. Well, I think it's a good move for him. He has great ability, but needs to be that little bit more consistent. I'd say it's a fair price as well. 
A very effective challenge put in. And into the last 30 minutes now. Pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Samu Saiz. Giving the ball away. Now, who can he play it to? Oh, good looking run. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. And he might be through here. Still possibilities. Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. And that's an important intervention. Just 15 minutes remaining. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Crossing opportunity. Poor pass under no real pressure. Must score! And a goal! Superb scoring for him. Two nil now and back on the way. Get again there to intercept. More. Oh, could be. And the keeper more than equal to it. And they're making a change. Corner given. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Paluli. Well, there goes the final whistle, and it's all gone to plan for the visit.
Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. And here we are, not too far from where the ferries come over from the European side of the Bosphorus. This is the Asian side, the home of Fenerbahce. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we've got what we hope will be exciting league action coming up for you. It's Fenerbahce facing Galatasaray. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, for Fenerbahce, it really was a fine performance and a magnificent result in the last game against Sivaspor. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, what a good 2-0 win that was, particularly away from home. Today will be tougher, though, and I'm expecting a really close contest between two well-drilled teams. I'm going for a draw, as it's difficult to separate them. A really intense pressure applied. This looks promising out wide. Corner awarded. But he's gone short with it and played in. Not all that convincing defensively. Must take the lead here. Well, he can be eye-catching and brilliantly effective, Mauro Icardi. What are you looking for from him in this game? Well, he's been in fine form in the league, as you can see from those stats. And it's going to be a real test for that back line to keep him quiet. If they switch off, even for a minute, they'll be punished. It should be! And he couldn't bag the first goal of the contest. Well, I can't believe he's missed the target there. That's a poor finish. Icardi. Good visualisation and execution. Lost possession. Rossi, Kadioglu, he could pick out a teammate, well thumped clear, can he finish, oh keeper dealt with it, corner kick played in, struggling to get it away, Well, nothing comes of it. Well, there you have it. In terms of possession, there's not much in it. It really has been a hard-fought battle so far. One of these teams needs to start taking a risk or two. And he has options available. A very effective challenge put in. Henry Onyekuru. Now with Mertens. Rashica. Icardi in the middle. Well, threat over for now. So the half-time whistle, and the two teams have just about matched each other. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Valencia. And beating the defender. And a chance to whip it in here. It's there for him. Will it be? Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point. 
because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Mauro Icardi here. And the flag does go up. Must have been close. Highly significant piece of transfer business carried out. Gerard Moreno has completed his move to Manchester United. Well, the fee is reported to be around about £60 million, which is a lot of money, but I think he's worth it. He's going to be under huge pressure, of course, but I'm sure he'll be able to cope with it. Martins. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Can they hit on the break? Defenders need to cover. Played into the box. Well, no danger now. Strong but fair tackle. Being egged on by the crowd. And not cleared away properly. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Slipshod passing. Icardi. Lucas Torreira now. Real chance. A goal! They've opened the scoring in the derby. And I'll tell you what, you can hear a pin drop in here. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, on the cusp of full time, the home side keep plugging away but find themselves on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, their attacking play has been too slow, it's lacked penetration, and at times it's looked devoid of ideas. But can that change in the final few minutes here? It only needs one moment of magic. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Well, nowhere close to the goal when all was said and done. Well, from that sort of position, you should really be testing the goalkeeper. Has to hit the target. It's not a good attempt. And so into the final five minutes. Icardi. Top class defending. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way. As